Hello everyone, this is Danish from Job Skills Share. So I got a support call inside my house. My brother, he called me, and to be honest, this is not set up or anything. You just have to trust me. So he called me, and a few days ago, remember, uh, one of my other brother in Pakistan called me that you know he forgot his password uh, for the laptop that uh, uh, you know he we sent him a few years ago. So he forgot the password about that. I didn't remember. I was like, okay, why don't you create the whole uh, you know, Hiring Boot CD, and I, I kind of walk him through, and he was jumping around as a normal user. He, uh, for the first time, uh, kind of got into as an admin. Of course, I kind of put warnings ahead of the time, and I tell people that, look, if you're going to do this illegal, you're responsible for your actions. But the stuff that I have already shown, I'll put a link inside this video, how I created this USB, and how we use this as a normal uh, support call. So today, another time, one of my other brother basically called me and hey, hey, I'm having an issue. I cannot get into the machine. And this is a machine that I built for him. I forgot the admin password as well. I tried almost like 15 different passwords and I don't remember it. And I was like, okay, why, why don't we just stop this? Let's just fix it. And he's like, hey, he's this is a home support call right now. So let's go ahead and let me show you how I'm going to use this USB that I have created already. Watch the video in the description. And we're going to reset his password for the Windows 10 machine. And we'll get in and let him start doing his work so that he doesn't complain anymore and get to work quick right, so here's my brother and uh came from home support and this is the look of a normal user when they call you so can you explain what's happening so i had a system where i was trying to log in and it was giving me message uh, to reset my password for like a few days a week maybe mm -hmm. i never did that and then okay and then um because I never had the password, uh, and I would just click, hit sign in, and I would go in the in the system. So basically, you know, I just uh, took it for granted. And then uh, when I came back uh, yesterday, I guess it was not I could not go into the system. Uh, so I tried the reset. So the confusing part was that um, it asks you for your old password, and then you give you a new password, and of course you confirm the new password. Uh, the old password was not there, so I just went ahead and created a new password. And you forgot the new one, right? And I still think I didn't forget it, but you know, <laughs> uh, that's that's the hard. Maybe I forgot it, uh, and then I'm not able to log into my computer. So in this situation, of course, uh, a user has been warned many, many times, and you know that most of the time when we work in a domain environment, they get emails, right? They get these notifications, and now we even send out emails to people because people are going remote, and this is becoming a pretty big issue for even a corporate world, uh, and we are actually contacting people to actually change the password because we got an email, hey, this person have only one day left. We know that this person is going to start having issues if they don't have any good solutions for these domain cached passwords. And, um, well, the, the, you know, Noman might not know this, but a lot of people that I'm talking to, they may know this. So what happened is that um, people like you take their laptops home and they are connected to Active Directory. So Active Directory works mainly like when you, you have a laptop that's connected inside your business, right? Yeah. So you, let's say, for example, you bring the laptop now home you know, to the home. So what happens is that that home laptop the network can't connect back to your normal network so if, if a password gets changed or password is expired so then you're stuck with the old password and you can't do a lot of things and if you change your password on the web like let's say office 365 then you got all these issues and that's where we get called and all that kind of stuff so we have to then implement solutions uh, some of them are like vpn type of solutions some are different different type of things but in your case in his case this is a normal home work group computer uh, so all we got to do is to use the hiring boot CD uh, USB and um, I'm going to go ahead and reset the password. Now, one, one of the things that I did, even though I gave him the machine, I don't remember the admin password. So it's, it's kind of like my thing, too. I gave him a machine, but I don't remember it. Uh, that's a problem. Nice. With the, admin mistake. It's an admin mistake and it's a user <laughs> mistake by not changing the password on the time. I just want to test you. <laughs> so here's a situation where you have a home user. That's his username. And then we have an admin user right here. So both of these usernames are not working for us. He changed this one, and I don't remember this one. So the fix is definitely we're going to plug this into a USB of this machine or laptop, whatever you have, plug it in. And then depending on what type of system you're using, you could be using Dell, HP, Lenovo. You have to go to the, the manufacturer and see which key is uh, used for booting 
the machine uh, you know to the USB so you will as soon as you start the machine you're gonna start hitting that key uh, for Dell is F12 so you hit the F12 and as soon as it starts it's gonna tell you to start this machine from a USB and we're gonna basically get into this um, a little operating system in this USB right now so I'm gonna plug this in hit the F12 and then I'm gonna show you the screen so as soon as you plug in the USB, try to do it safely. You don't want to corrupt to the operating system by plugging everything in and out. It, it may work for you, but that could also lead to more issues. So just restart it properly. So the machine is about to start. I'm going to start hitting F12. There you go. As soon as I hit F12, you see the USB. Start from USB. And let's go ahead and get started with the USB. Your USB will stop blinking right now. Now be patient with this. This takes a little time because it's starting from the USB. All right, see that it's spinning. There you go. So this is the operating system right now. So basically this, this operating system is not your Windows 10 or anything. It's just a uh, hiring boot CD and this is a totally running from USB. Um, and that's the very powerful tool right here. So make sure you remember my warning. If you try to get into someone's, someone's computer illegally like this, you're definitely going to jail in US. I don't know about other countries, but here you go. You got a lot of stuff right here, but we're not inter interested in any other stuff. We want to reset his password. So we're going to go to utilities right here, this folder right here. So utilities, and then we're going to go into security. We're going to go into security, and then we're going to go to passwords, and then we're going to click on this NT password edit. So I clicked on it, and you see there's nothing in there, but that's the system32 config SAM folder where basically your passwords your usernames are going to be right there okay and if you do open it's going to tell you to continue right there and as soon as i do continue you see all of my admin users and passwords just came uh, sorry the user came up so first i didn't i wanted to make sure that admin can get it so i'm going to unlock it first and i'm going to change the password i'm not going to use any password right now i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to come over here i'm going to go to the home which is his user i'm going to do unlock change the password and okay so there you go you, you make sure you do save changes exit and now we're going to basically start the machine right now so we have made the password we can put the password in there right now but i'm not going to use this tool to put a password out there uh, for different reasons uh, but if you want to do it correctly just do a nil password but sometimes your security can be pretty good meaning for the servers if you're doing this for a server level then they may not let you do that even you may not even let they may not even let you change the path so here you go home user as soon as i started it home user went in there and boom you're inside the home user right now there you go so my brother maman can get into the files and i like to do this because i didn't want him to see uh enjoying his life like this and not working he's back to work <laughs> Hello, Mr. Naman. We have fixed your uh, computer, and uh, right now there's no password. Uh, but we are going to put the password in there for you because we don't believe in you anymore. <laughs> so what do you think about this? Like, okay, you as a person, operation managers, what do you think about this tool that... What was your first reaction that, hey, I just went in there, reset your password? I think, I mean, I think it's pretty cool because, um, you know, you feel stuck. You, are, uh, you don't have access to your files and everything else. And then you're like, oh, man, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's like, you know. Um, but what if your normal people found out this type of skills and like, hey, you know what? That's pretty cool. Let me, let me just log no, in to see you. that's not cool at all. I mean, if, 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 if let's say the users in company have these skills, that, I would, that would be a major security kind of issue. Wouldn't you be more worried and maybe ask the IT people, hey, if somebody have a tool like this, is there a way we can prevent this kind of stuff other than just IT people, right? Yeah, you would want to do something like maybe a USB type of or maybe encryptions or something like that that this USB gets plugged in but nobody can start a machine from a USB or even if they start it there should be some type of username or password some type of limitation for someone because I can come to your office yeah so, so and, I don't know for sure how it works but in our company uh, if you try to put a USB in the computer it sounds an alarm I don't know what, how, how that how, how that works. Yeah, maybe it's some kind of security but yeah most of the companies have a uh, different level of uh, you know security in place so then they can't do this type of stuff because that's very dangerous for someone to get a hold of this stuff like that and that's not it they may just get into your machine and grab the data too like I, I could access your yeah, yeah. any drive not just pa password which maybe I'm not gonna do that just to just to make it look like I'm not like you know 
trying to uh, because that's gonna seem like I did something right yeah. I can log into one of your computers grab the data and then go home and with your data in here yeah, and, that's that's pretty, that's, and in five yeah. we did that in like two minutes right yeah so it, it could only take me 10 minutes to do this yeah so Mr. Noman that's the challenge for you for your IT people Make sure you test this. I'm going to give you this USB. Go home, take it, and take care, everybody. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks. Bye.